is Tsunami Awareness Month in Hawaii, and of course, Earth Month. Hawaii Land Trust conducts some innovative tsunami and climate change research on Maui. And joining us now to tell us more is Dr. Scott Fisher. He is Director of Aina Stewardship at Hawaii Land Trust. Good to be with you here today. Thank you so much for having me. Well, tell us about the work at Nu'u, Nuu Refuge. Yeah, Nu'u Refuge. So, yeah, we recently received a, a two-year uh, federal grant uh, to, to design and uh, implement uh, to, to plant really a what's called a forested bioshield. So tsunamis are extremely common in Hawaii. About every 11 years, Hawaii is hit by a destructive tsunami. And so what we want to do is protect ourselves, uh, protect these uh, cultural and natural resources. Nu'u um, is particularly vulnerable and also very important. And so what we want to do is ensure that um, that the next tsunami or next big storm that the, the refuge, the new refuge is protected as much as possible. So uh, we are planting what's called a forested bioshield using mm. a variety of, of species, a variety of native species. And that's meant to kind of create a buffer? Yeah, it, it is. What, what we want to do in, in the, the design is to both um, slow down the energy of the uh, tsunami wave while also uh, uh, reducing the amount of sediment that's transported into the pond. So mm -hmm. since about the 1500s, from what we can tell from our research, from the, from the 1500s or so, we've had three major tsunamis that have deposited about four feet of material into the pond. And that reduces the quality of the mm -hmm. habitat. And so if we, uh, in, if we can protect it from the next one, we'll ensure that the, the quality of the habitat for those water birds, um, the Ai'o, the Hawaiian stilt, and the Alaike Oke'o, the, yeah. uh, the Hawaiian coot. So. Yeah, so important to preserve the biodiversity, yes. um, yep. especially, and erosion, another big issue that yes. we're facing. Um, what are you doing on that front? Yes, so, you know, with climate change, we're getting um, uh, more intense outbursts of, of uh, rainfall. And so what we're doing is we're, we're the BioShield will also help with that because, again, it's uh, slowing down the rate of sediment transportation, the amount of uh, material brought into the pond. But we're also using other... Uh, nature-based solutions, such as using coconut coir rolls. So these... Uh, uh, I've seen that done in other countries. Yes, yeah. They, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's very effective, and it's an intermediate step before the, uh, the, the forest grows up. So using native forests, nature-based solutions, is yeah. really climate change and, and tsunami protection. Such important issues. What do you want people to know, really, about what research is going yeah. on and what we can do to help? Yes, that's, yeah. So, and it, this applies both for, you know, climate change, you know, yeah, as you point out, it's Earth, um, Earth Month, um, as well as tsunami, uh, tsunami awareness. And basically is that our native forests can really uh, protect us. Uh, we need to be aware of the, uh, the frequency and the intensity of our tsunami, of tsunamis in particular, but at the same time, we have to um, use our, you know, our, our kupuna trees, you know, our, our uh, native endemic and indigenous. So we're planting about 11 species around the pond in this bio forested bioshield. Mm -hmm. really, so important. Really, yeah. Yeah, yes. Well, raising so. awareness is number one. So thank you so much for joining us, yeah, uh, Dr. For Scott me. Fisher yeah. there. And he was just actually awarded a special uh, <laughs> national recognition, Environmental Law Institute's National Wetlands Awards. That's so right. representing yeah, us well you. on the national yeah. stage, international <laughs> stage. <laughs> okay.